Welcome back. I'm Matt Vaskersian here on the MLB pregame show. As we draw closer to the first pitch in this series opener, let's have a look at our Topps player spotlight. Tom Seaver will be our subject. And what a dominant performance he put together in his last start. He had opposing batters off balance throughout and racked up a boatload of strikeouts. Yeah, he just looked like he was really in control out there. And you know, sometimes you can tell a guy is going to dominate from the moment he sets foot on the rubber. They just exude confidence and their body language kind of says, he ain't touching me today. That's what I saw in him. I, and even though I was a hitter in my career, it was really fun to watch him make those other guys look silly. We'll see if he's still in top shape in this matchup here today. Okay, we're looking forward to this one. Lineups and first pitch on the show coming up next. MLB The Show has baseball on tap from lovely City Field in New York. Tonight, it's interleague baseball, the first of a two-game set between the East leading Toronto Blue Jays and the New York Mets. And before we get too much further, here's a look at each manager's starting lineup here for the opener. And let's not forget our two starting pitchers as you see how they match up for this one. Anthony goes. We'll move towards the batter's boxes. We're just about set to get underway tonight. Center fielder number eight, Anthony goes. Play here this evening. They're on a great run of late as they come in winners of seven of their last nine games. Yeah, when you're playing good baseball, suddenly first place starts coming into clearer focus. They've really made up some ground here. So the leadoff man gone here in the Toronto first, and with that, let's take a look at the defense for the New York Mets. It's brought to us by Majestic, the official uniform of Major League Baseball. Ryan Goins will stand in now as he was reinserted back into the lineup here after taking a needed day off yesterday. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Well, he hasn't wasted any pitches so far early in the game. That's six pitches for two strikeouts already. You know, if these first two hitters are any indication, be a whole lot more of these to come. Edwin Encarnacion will dig in now. Currently ninth in the AL in hitting entering play. With another 0-2. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Bottom of the first straight ahead. We are scoreless on the show. Juan Francisco leads things off now in the top. Right there, 97 miles an hour. What are you going to do with that? Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Well, oh, there's no question. This guy's got to be in the running for the Cy Young this year. He makes quick work with this guy on three pitches. That was just too easy. Into the box, Nate Scherholz. He'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. Oh. On to first, and Sheerholtz is retired for the second out. Travis Snyder will stand in here, looking to keep the inning alive. Which... Yeah, come on now, big guy. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So they go down without a whimper here. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied, nothing, nothing. Josh Tolley is ready to go here as we begin the third. Coming. First pitch here is popped a mile high into the air. This is way up there, but playable on the infield. Right is under it as he puts it away, and it's one pitch, one away to start the third. And as we showed you in the open, he's out there putting his perfect record on the line, and so far, he 
These guys haven't shown many signs. Pitch. Grounded sharply here and through into right field. And that becomes the first hit for either side here so far. Rob Jeffries will take a long look down here as he may be bunting to avoid the double play. Here's the first pitch to him. And they like to have the pitcher bunt with one gun as he puts this one down. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Anthony Ghost will dig in for a second time. A strikeout victim opening up the ball game. Now the pitch. Out in front, but this is skied into straightaway right. Colabello is there, and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. Ryan Goins will stand in now to get up. He can still work the count. That alone can be beneficial to an offense. Colabello is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning. Edwin Encarnacion will stride in again. Struck out swinging his first time. First pitch coming. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. And this will find its way to the 335 sign. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Juan Francisco will try it again. Set down on Swell. It's 0 2 now. Oh, they pulled the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses. And he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. That change up's not really a pitch you can sit on with two strikes. Because if he gives you that fastball, you'll be an hour late on it. That's a great job of not showing the last pitch until he's ready to punch him out. Nate Sherholz is in with two away now. With a fastball, you'll be fine, but. And hold that thought as that's a strikeout for out number three. So the inning will come to an end. Back to back strikeouts keep them out of danger. Back with more on this Monday night after this. Travis Snyder will make his way towards the box to lead off the field. See it? Drive. Let's go. Right here. Curveball. Strike three call. And he didn't like it, but there's the first out. I think we expected to see a well-pitched game coming in, and, and we got one. Starting to look like the team who scores first might be the one who wins. Josh Tolley will dig in. Popped out his first time. Here's another one, too. Come on, big guy. See it. Drive it right here. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see right there where they rank in that category. Lee Marillo will stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here. Let's go. Full count offering on its way. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. So a strong start on the mound as he's flanked him through the first five. Home half of the fifth coming up, and we still have no score. Tom Seaver will stand in a lot. Here you go. Let it fly. Here comes the one-two. In the air to right center. Here we go. Pick it up. Pick it up. And that's in there. Base hit. Around third and being waved on hold. And the run will score from second to make this a 1-0 ball game. Took us a little while, but we've got our first run on the scoreboard here in the fifth. Got to figure. Any more they could add on here. Ryan Goins will stand in now. He struck out and flied out. 0 for 2. Here's another 0-2. Here's a shot out to the alley in right center, and they'll have a two-out base runner. In fact, maybe good for extra bases. Around first on his way to second now. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Edwin Encarnacion will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. 
Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time to finally the ball, crack. The ball. And it looks now like a right-hander's begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. And the run will score from second as this ball game is tied one apiece. Juan Francisco will step in now. 0 for 2 to this point. 1, 1 and 0. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Ah, well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Gonna be extra bases. On the back, on the back, on the back. Here comes yeah, here Encarnacion go, around there. third. And they will tag him out at the plate. And that'll keep our ball game tied up as the inning is over. So one run here on four hits here. No error. And a runner left. Part of the order, three, four, and five coming up. Nate Sherholz will come forward now to begin the seventh inning in what's been a very briskly played through six innings. And now here's a swing and a ground ball to third. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Travis Snyder will stand in now. He flew out in his first more. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Yeah, you got Drifting it. You back got behind it. first now. That's mine, that's mine. And this will be taken in without much trouble. It's an easy start to the seventh. Two gone. Well, usually when you get guys to pop up, it means that you've got them off balance. He's been able to pick. Now another 0-2. Uh, and he got him to swing early as this is skied out toward right. Colabello under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. Score remains tied one to one. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, I thought he really pitched well. He ran into a few problems here and there along the way, but aside from that, he was definitely a difference maker out.